my name is Glen Ayres. I work for ZF Services Australia. I'm responsible for OE sales and support down here in New Zealand. I'm down here today in Gisborne with uh, Skipper Simon. The main reason we've been down here today is for, for uh, sea trials um, after this boat's actually just recently undergone a major refit. So the thing that's particularly interesting for us from a ZF side is that this is the first boat in the southern hemisphere to take the whole uh, ZF complete package uh, right from the back of the engine right through to right through to the props which makes this a little bit more interesting for us is also that we have um, the full ZF controls package on, on this boat too um, coming right from the uh, can controlled uh, smart command system to control the engine and gearbox um, also into the JMS system to give joystick maneuvering uh, in tight spaces uh, controlling both the, the props and the uh, thruster, the bow thruster at the same time. We also have uh, enabled the uh, ZF eye anchor system to, to position hold the vessel when, when out in open water, um, as well as the ZF eye drift system, which allows the skipper here to, uh, to, to really control his drift irrespective of wind and, and current conditions at the time. Um, a real must for a sports fishing vessel. Another first for us uh, is the ZF Steer Command electric steer-by-wire system. So again, uh, the very first one in the Southern Hemisphere fitted. Uh, we've done away with the traditional hydraulic steering systems, uh, so no more uh, messy oil leaks, and instead replaced it with an electric system which basically functions from a Helms motor um, right through uh, the processors electric processors right to, to individually controlled steering actuators which are directly mounted at the rear of the boat and, and, um, and then affixed to the, the rear rudders. But maybe better than for me to tell you about uh, the performance of this vessel, um, maybe uh, Simon, maybe I could ask you what, sure. what's, what, what's behind this whole project and, and what's your experience of it up to now? So as you said earlier, Glenn, the boat was um, triple pod powered, pod driven. Um, one of the issues that we had was um, we had a low cruising speed, high fuel consumption. It was, was a very good sea boat, but we did have some issues with um, off the Gisborne coast, there's a lot of logs in winter, forestry runoff, and we wanted in particular a protected drive line. So this, this new modification to the vessel, it has twin keels, they're canted keels, so they, um, they actually create lift. The attractive thing from our designer's point of view was that ZF could do everything from the propeller nut to the gearbox to the controls. We only stopped at one shot. The pods didn't use any bow thrust to, for the lateral movement. They, they, they were quite busy working against or with each other to um, hold the boat on station. With the 25 horsepower um, hydraulic bow thruster that, that's driven off two power packs off each gearbox, there's a lot less happening with, with the with the drive line, a lot of your um, a lot of your um, lateral position holding is done by the bow thruster, so that so that um, the screws are basically just jogging in and out of gear. So there's it's a lot quieter. There's a lot less happening. Yeah, and so far, um, like I would I would say as as an operational vessel, it's it's nicer to drive. It's absolutely beautiful to drive. Yeah.